Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Reaper blog. I'm John. Today I'm going to take a look at a sample library from Woodshed Audio, the Essentials Shaker and Tambourine Pack. It's $30 and it comes with tons of loops and one-shot samples of tambourines and shakers. They're all recorded through vintage gear and they sound great. This is a sponsored video. I did not buy this package. It was given to me for promotion, but I am going to use this opportunity to show you some things in the Media Explorer and kind of give you an idea of how you can use loops and one-shots in your productions. Because Woodshed Audio is a sponsor of the Reaper blog, you can click through the link on the blog post or in the description of this video, buy the sample library, and support Reaper blog in the process. All right, so let's take a look at what you get in this package. So in the shaker and tambourine bundle, there is a set of loops and one shot. So let's take a look at loops. There's straight loops and swung loops, 110 and 90 beats per minute. Let's take a look at the straight shaker loops first. And then we have all these different models of shaker. So let's start with the hex. I'll just go through a couple of them. So if you haven't seen the Media Explorer in Reaper before, go to View and Media Explorer. This is a file browser with a built-in preview. We can loop it. We can route it to any output. We can play it through the selected track if you have an effects chain set up for it already. You can autoplay, so when you click or select an item in here, it will automatically start to play. If you already have playback started in your project, you can use this option here, start on bar, and then it will play that whenever you reach a bar in your project. You can match the tempo at regular speed, half speed, and double. We also have a pitch control if you want to adjust the pitch. And over here we have a volume control. And when we select an item, we can insert it into the project, put onto a new track. You can use it to replace items that are already in your project. We can find it in the Explorer. We can also click and drag here to make a selection and click and drag to move just that selected area into the Reaper project. I'm not going to do that right now. All right, so here's the hex shaker. I'll put tempo match on. We don't really need it, but I'll put that on. And let's check this out. So that's a pretty good sounding shaker. Let's go to the next one. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'll just go through a few of them really quickly. So you can hear the variety. Let's look at the tambourines real quick. Here's the airy one. Here's the syncopated. trashy one. That's pretty cool. And let's also look at one shots real quick, shakers, bottle caps. Those ones have some effects on them, seed pods. And then there's a variety of different effect presets. Really cool sounds there. We also have a vibra slap. Those are fun, right? And the tambourine. And wide variety of effects available printed on these one shots so you can make your own loops. Yeah, I really like that one. All right, so now let's look at how you would use these in a project. So 
let's grab medium and let's do two and four. The tempo is 120, so it's going to stretch this automatically. Since we have this on, I'm going to click and drag this, drop it in here. And I want to loop this item as well. I'm going to use this button I have set up in my toolbar to loop the selected item. If we hit play here. Loop this and loop play back here. So you can hear it's playing in time with the track. But it's not robotic. It's not a programmed loop. It's a loop that's actually played. Let's grab a tambourine and put in, um, let's try any of these. That's pretty cool. So actually, let's take this and try this option here. Um, insert, oops. Th that replaced my item. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's put it on a new track. I'll show you in a real project how this looks. So I'll close the Explorer, and I'm using the bright 8th accent 2 and 4 and the dark 8th accent 2 and 4. So I've got these set up to loop, and then it's fading out at the end, and it's matched to the tempo, doing a bit of processing on it, make it brighter, kill all the lows that aren't needed, kind of just gentle shaping there. So I'll play this section of the song without the shaker and tambourine, and I'll bring them in after. And I just blend these in very, very subtly, just so it's adding a little bit of brightness, a little motion. And I do that in this chorus versus the first chorus, because I need that la final chorus to just be a little more exciting and more interesting. And um, when every chorus is exactly the same, it's not gonna, it's not gonna give you that lift that you need for the climax of the song. So that's about it for this video please do check out woodshedaudio.co. Check out the Shaker and Tambourine library. I think you'll like it. These samples have already been useful in my productions. Uh, they're definitely better sounding than anything I had in my library already, and i um, very happy to have them. Check out woodshed.co. Get this bundle. Click through the Reaper Blogs link, and you'll support both of our companies. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials.